Well, a busy 4th of July weekend is usually a sure thing for mid Michigan cities, but with the pandemic, that's uncertain. TV 5's Jason Fielder reports on how it's affecting businesses in Bay City as people ring in the 4th without the usual massive fireworks show. This is my, my biggest dollar weekend of the year, normally. That's Rick Rivette, owner of Mulligan's Pub and Gatsby's Seafood and Steakhouse in downtown Bay City. For years during 4th of July weekend, his restaurants would be slammed with patrons filling the seats inside and out. But because of the coronavirus stay safe rules and the Bay City fireworks being canceled, he's shutting the doors on Saturday. I'm actually not even going to open up for business tomorrow, which is sad. It's made a huge economic impact against me, but we have to keep people safe. Even though he's closing on the 4th, Rivet says he will do whatever it takes to keep his business going throughout the pandemic. Bay City leaders helped Rivet and other downtown business owners out by recently closing a couple of streets so that the establishments could provide outdoor seating for their patrons. Rivet says that's been a big boost to business. Actually made it a, a tourist attraction down here now with so many the streets closed and all the restaurants and stores being able to set up outside has helped up tremendously. Eating and drinking outside depends on the weather to cooperate and Rivet says so far it has. Downtown Bay City restaurants and bars need that trend to continue. Reporting for WNEM TV 5, I'm Jason Fielder. And the U.S. Coast Guard is warning those on Michigan waterways, drive sober or your boat will be pulled over. The 4th of July weekend is one of the busiest boating seasons of the summer. And if you head out on your boat, you may see some more maritime officers on the lake. The holiday is also the launch of the U.S. Coast Guard's annual campaign, Operation Dry Water, a campaign aimed at boater safety. In awareness on boating under the influence, uh, it's our job to go out there and we're trying to mitigate and decrease the amount of alcohol that's being consumed on um, or while operating vessels because alcohol is the leading factor in deaths in recreational boating. Now the blood alcohol concentration limit when boating is 0 .08. The U.S. Coast Guard says boating under the influence is the same as driving under the influence. Certified most accurate. Now your first Warren 5 forecast with MidMichigan's only live radar. Here's meteorologist John Gross. A good Saturday morning to you, MidMichigan. Happy 4th of July. We're going into another hot and sunny forecast for today, and that's going to be the trend as we go throughout the next few days as well. Here's a look at the numbers and where we go for later on this afternoon. Low 90s, that's going to be a good range for us as we get later on into today, the further inland you go. A little cooler near the water still, but we're still going to be talking about the 80s as we're near the shoreline for today. With the heat in play and with it in the forecast throughout the next few days, just some good heat safety tips to keep in mind. Limit the time outdoors with strenuous activities. Take time inside. Breaks in the AC definitely are good. Always another good thing to stay hydrated. Drink plenty of water and watch your alcohol intake and wear light colored loose fitting clothing, especially in the sunlight. It absorbs less of the sunlight and keeps you just a little bit cooler outside. Live first Warren 5 pinpoint Doppler from MBS this morning. Just a few bad returns coming on in anywhere you see some of the green on the radar. No showers to track this morning. Just a few clouds out and about in our skies getting to go in this early Saturday morning. If you have any travel plans for the 4th of July holiday today, I think we're going to be in good shape with dry roadways as high pressure pressure will continue to stay in control of our weather for a good majority of this weekend. Hour by hour forecast, a few clouds this morning. I think it gives way to some sunshine this afternoon. We'll call it partly to at times mostly sunny today. UV indices high once again. Stay cool, hydrated, apply that sunscreen for today if you're going to be out near the pool or the beach. Going into the rest of the evening, the overnight period tonight, it's mostly clear as we wake up into the beginning of your Sunday morning. We'll do it all over again with more rays of sunshine throughout the morning hours and into the afternoon as well. Chance for a pop-up shower, not going to be out of the question as we get into your Sunday afternoon. Still going to be on the low end, kind of similar to what we had yesterday. I think most of us will get through most of the weekend dry, and we'll do it all over again even throughout the day on Monday. More sunshine expected with very, very hot temperatures. Temperatures. Happy July 4th. Here's a look at your forecast for the rest of today. We've got temperatures near the lower 90s. If you're closer to the water, we could be held back into the 80s, but still plenty of heat to go around. 
partly to mostly sunny, winds out of the northeast 5 to 10 miles per hour. Something we've been trying to stress for the past few days and as we go throughout today, the UV indice for today is still very high at a 9. Burn times without the sunscreen, about 20 minutes. Just make sure to protect your skin if you'll be outside for today. Tonight it's warm again. We're down into the mid-60s, mostly clear as we get into the beginning of your Sunday morning. Here's a look at the seven-day forecast. It's just plain hot as we get into the weekend and next week. We've got mid-90s coming back for Monday. Here's some good news. we got some rain chances also returning. Our lawns are definitely needing it as we get into Tuesday. That will continue throughout midweek. Blake, we'll send it back to you. All right, John, thank you so much. A scorcher for sure. TV5 News time is 8.20. Still ahead, Americans are feeling very different this 4th of July. We'll explain why this year's celebration is taking on a new tone. Thank you.